migrants. About a million of those people have committed some form of crime in addition to crossing the border illegally. I think you start with deportations on those folks. And then I think you make it harder for illegal aliens to undercut the wages of American workers. Vance's performance was very polished. He's a very good public speaker. He's, you know, this is what he does best. And Walls at times seemed very folksy. He misspoke on, on several occasions. His performance could be a little bit halting at times and uneven. I've tried to do the best I can, but I've not been perfect. And I'm a knucklehead at times, but it's always been about that. Governor Walls seemed the most uncomfortable when the debate began, because it began with the question about foreign policy, which is not his strong suit. Iran, or I, uh, Israel's ability to be able to defend itself is absolutely fundamental. I think he really felt incredibly comfortable when he was talking about Minnesota. We should be making more of those solar panels here in the United are, States of America. We in Minnesota passed a paid family medical leave. In Minnesota, we've enacted enhanced red flag laws, enhanced background checks. One of Waltz's strongest moments of the debate came at the end when Senator Vance was asked whether if he was vice president for Trump in the first term, if he would have done what Vice President Pence did, which was to certify the election results. This was a threat to our democracy in a way that we had not seen. And it manifested itself because of Donald Trump's inability to say he is still saying he didn't lose the election. I would just ask that. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to... that is a damning non-answer. This debate had many differences of opinion, but it was striking how many times they agreed with each other. Much of what the senator said right there, I'm in agreement with him on this. And I think that Governor Walz and I actually probably agree that we need to do better on this. I think that might be one of the things this debate is remembered for. Because neither of these candidates were very well known, it did offer a big opportunity for both of them to reintroduce themselves to America.